I've been thinking about what I've been talking about on my uh, previous videos and some things that I'm talking about the machine coordinate systems might be a little confusing so in order to explain this and demonstrate it a little more thoroughly um, I need to go to the building supply and get some materials so I can build a model to show what I'm talking about so we're going to go up to the building supply and get some materials
So this is a vertical machining center and it just has three axes on it. It doesn't have a rotary table mounted on it, although it's capable of having one. And so the standard coordinate system for a vertical machining center is of course the Z this way and the Y plus that way and the X plus this way. Okay, so that's that's what most people are used to that run, say, even manual Bridgeport mills and such as that. That's the normal coordinate system. Okay, this machine here is a, um, basically it's a vertical machine center, but it's a bridge mill, and it has a rotary axis. Because the rotary axis is parallel to the x-axis, it's an a-axis, so our configuration will look like this. This is the z, the y, and the X, but it has this rotary axis, which this little thing represents as the A axis that rotates around the X axis. A horizontal machining center. So the spindle comes out horizontally, and here's the pallet that moves in the X axis, and its coordinate system would look like this. It's going to be a Z is the blue, X is the red, and a Y is the yellow, and then it's going to have a the rotary axis, the B axis, here rotates around the Y axis, so the B corresponds with the Y. On in this case, the Integrex, see it has the milling spindle and the turning spindle, tailstock, and this is the coordinate system for the Integrex. So the X axis goes up vertically. And the Y, the plus, comes this way, and the, the Z goes this way. And, it, and of course it has a rotary axis here, which would be the B axis, which is that up there. And then the C axis over here rotates around the spindle's axis, like that. Which of course is that as well as a turning spindle when it's milling, that's coupled to the C axis and so it can rotate around this way of course. So this is the coordinate system for this machine. Now it's really the same as there again the vertical machining center was this way right if you remember without the rotary axis on it. So see it's really the same it's just it just rotated up this way but then the Z would be reversed, so you got to bring the Z back around because the Z plus is towards the tailstock this way. But but actually, the coordinate system is the same. It's just it's just as if we're standing it behind the machine on the vertical machining center in this case. So this kind of makes it a little bit um, you know tricky to jog the machine around at first until you're used to it because you you always seem to be jogging the Y axis backwards because you expect the plus to go that way when it's really the plus is facing you on this machine. So if we go back to it, vertical machining center here, vertical that way, horizontal machining center here which would almost be like this machine except that the, the X plus always goes up on a lathe so this would be the the coordinate system on this machine and then of course it has the two rotary axes of the C of the spindle and the B axis up here of the milling spindle on the Y axis. So go over it again here. Vertical machining center. If it had a rotary axis it would be on the X, although it could be on the Y and it could have a you could have it facing towards the Y and then it would be a B. The Y axis always has a B axis. You wouldn't have a rotary axis on the on the A, I mean on the Z, which would be a C on the vertical machine center because it's um it wouldn't be any use. The tool rotates on that axis. So so this would be the vertical machining center. Again, horizontal machining center, like I showed you before. And then the five axis lathe is like that which is this machine right here with the, the milling spindle so I don't know if that would clarify things a little bit 
I've got the uh, these numbers I wrote on the on the little block in the center have to do with uh, if I can move this. I'm trying to do this holding the camera same time. Have to do with the um, planes of circular rotation, if you will, or, or um, where you the arcs would be. A, so if on a vertical machine center, it's it's a 17, a G17, which would be like this. Like you're normally probably used to. Oops. Okay, like that. And the XZ would be 18, G18, and the YZ would be um, 19. So on a vertical machining center, that's going to look like like this. 17 is normally what your uh, G17 is normally what you're using for um, circular interpolation, and uh, on this machine, of course, you're going to be working this way. But when you you actually when you have the spindle that spindle up there vertical on here, then you actually rotate the coordinate system in the program so that you lay it back this way. So now the X plus is traveling towards the spindle, and the Y plus is still traveling outward towards the front of the machine, and the Z would be up. Or, or if you put the B axis anywhere in this zone, basically what you're doing is rotating the, the, um, at the coordinate system up like this with a, I think it's a G68 in the program, if I remember right, I have to look. So that's, as the B-axis rotates, the spindle always faces towards the Z direction. So right now, if you're looking at it up there, the Z is facing this way. But as you rotate that, you know, like this, it comes around and you rotate it in the program. So you're always, you're really always milling in the X, Y plane with these machines when you're milling, unless you're doing a full five axis move, then then you're just doing a bunch of little line segments, just a bunch of line segments and you don't actually rotate the coordinate system for five axis work. It's just all around the world coordinate system. So I don't know if that helps anybody, but that's what these, you know, these coordinate systems, that's why I'm when I'm talking an earlier video, uh, the X is in the plus direction that way, Z that way, and the Y moves this way on this machine.